Okay, so this is the tank um, mounted. So that's actually the original carbon canister holder for uh, the two plus twos. Um, in Australia, we can't have like surge tanks in the back or anything like that. Got quite restrictive rules on the way that we can modify our street registered vehicles. So the idea of this is to have it all hidden away under the bumper. Plus, I wanted um, wanted it at the front as well. It's nice and easy access here. Good for wiring, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, that's uh, obviously MagnaFuel 750 pump. Uh, it should flow plenty of E85 for my power needs and for the next stage, uh, which will come later on. But basically, how it works is the original uh, in tank pump pumps in through these two lines. This is the feed and the return. Um, that's um, PTFE line all the way back to the pump and just compression fittings on the original pump hat so nice and simple I didn't want to be modifying the original fuel tank or anything like that um, flows into the surge tank and then that will just keep filling this up um, no matter what and the original pump flows quite a bit of fuel with no load um, so basically it fills up here all the way up to the top and then this one is the main pump so it's sucking out of here basically but once you fill this up the fuel level rises up to here anyway so it's it's always in its prime because this is where the actual fuel pump gears are so it'll always have fuel in it ready to ready to fire up pumps up in through here this is the feed line into the engine bay obviously through the fuel rails back out into the return line uh, to the magna fuel fuel pressure regulator then the return line goes back into the surge tank um, so that is hot filling the the surge tank but i want to keep that as full uh, as possible um, yeah any questions just feel free